everybody! So, um, my name is Justin the Panda, and welcome to Happy Eternal Void. So since this is the first week of the channel, everybody is doing an intro video and telling you about themselves. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you things that make me more like me, and make me me, and yeah, let's do this. I mean, I, and I mean, I'm really tired, and I just got back from, um, I was out of town all week, so that's why I'm a little late. But two hours of sleep, let's do this. I mean, we, we, we don't need sleep to do a video. Duh, I mean, sleep is for the week, right? No, I had that song stuck in my head. We will never sleep. Sleep is for the week. We will never rest. Tomorrow I'll fucking get you. Okay, you know that song, right? If you don't, I would I, I want you to pause this video and look it up. It's by Bring Me the Horizon. It's called Diamonds Aren't Forever. But anyways, so, um, yeah. First thing you need to know about me is that my real name is not just another panda. Um, my real name is Alex. I am 14 years old and I live in Florida. Um, Florida is the land of a thousand old people, a million palm trees, and a, and a bunch of cockroaches. And there's not, and a lot of people here are not very good drivers. There are some people that really need to learn how to drive. But, um, yeah. But it doesn't snow here, so that's good. Um, so if you don't like snow, come down here. It gets really nice in the winter. I personally love it here in the winter. Winter is my favorite part of the year. So, um, yeah. That's a little bit of my basic information. Um, what else? Um, I am not in a relationship right now. I am currently single. However, I would consider the relationship between me and my guitar pretty serious. Okay, the guitar, my, my guitar it is my life. Um, speak other than guitar, I do play drums, violin, cello, and keyboard. So, and a little bit of bass. Um, I'm still learning bass a little bit, and I'm still kind of learning guitar too. So I don't know. Maybe I just like hitting things with sticks more. I'd consider drums like my main instrument though. So, um, yeah, other than vocals, because I do sing too. Um, I also write my own songs. I am trying, I'm trying to get the courage to um, upload some of my songs on my own channel. I'll put a link to my channel in the description below. Most of the time I do vlogs about things such as self-harm, depression, suicide, and family issues, and other stuff like that. Because I feel like that, um, that you don't hear enough of it spoken from somebody, from somebody that really does understand th these kind of issues and somebody who is there to help them. I don't, th I don't think that you get that a lot from people. So that's what I'm there to th th do. So like I said, I'll put a link to my um, channel in the description. Um, so, yeah. Um, I am obsessed with music. I think I might have a problem with music. Um, you see, I listen to music pretty much every day. Um, every day, I, I never know what I'm going to do. I never expect anything from any day, but I know I am going to listen to music sometime in the day. Whether it be waking up or working or um, or doing the homework or going to sleep, I will always be listening to music. Um, I think I might have like a music addiction, but that is okay. I mean, there are worse addictions out there. So don't do drugs, kids. Um, but anyways, um, that, was, that was off topic. Um, I also love YouTube. If I didn't love YouTube, then I'm not sure why I would um, be doing YouTube videos. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Why would somebody who hates YouTube do YouTube videos? Um, I... I've, I have found a lot of my favorite artists um, on YouTube, and I'm not going to go into my favorite bands um, because I don't have time. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe I will someday. But, um, you know, um, but I have found artists like Jordan Sweeto, Sammy Comply, and Pierce the Veil on there because, you see, I used to go to virtual school. I started the year off in virtual school, and then I ended up going to a public school later. But um, what happened was that um, after a while in virtual school, I started procrastinating a lot, and um, I started just kind of spending all day on YouTube. So I found a lot of cool music on there, so great. Um, <laughs> that's another thing you need to know about me. I, I am horrible at procrastinating. I mean, like, I'll like be doing homework, editing videos, and all of a sudden I see, um, I, I, look on, I look on my on, online and stuff and say, hey, look! There's a video I've always wanted to watch but I've never seen before. And then I, I click on it and I end up and then two hours later I end up um I, I end up like watching some random video on like how to eat a taco correctly or something. I don't know. Um but yeah. I love Italian food and I also love like vegetables. Um I love like salads and stuff. I don't really eat a lot to be perfectly honest, um, which is kinda sad. I should eat more. But anyways, um I love reading and writing. Um, I write quite a lot, like I said before, I write my own songs. But I also write like different kinds of poetry, different short stories, and like just random stuff. I also read books. I fin I recently just finished this book called The Program. Um, basically, what it was about was about like these people who live in this town where, sui where suicide is considered an epidemic. So 
they don't understand that um the, the child apparently does not understand that that um that suicide is because the person's hurting. So therefore, they make something called a program. Where basically, if somebody is showing signs of suicidal thoughts or tensions, then they take them away to this program and, ra and erase all their memories. So yeah, um, and it's about this girl that goes to the program and then, she, but she really, but she, but she has dated this guy, and um, she forgets all about him. But then she feels like that, you know, they are, they have a history together. So you know, I, I, I kind of, I love books like that, and I also love John Green. I'm wearing a Fault in Our Stars shirt, and it says maybe, maybe okay could be our always. That's what the shirt says. It's from the Fault in Our Stars. I love that book. I love paper. I, I read Paper Towns. And there's an, a lot of other books by John Green, and there are more books that I do want to read. So if there's any books that you would um, suggest to me, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for, for more material to read. Um, yeah, um, what else? My dream is to travel the world. Traveling the world would be amazing. I want to go to places such as Paris, um, Ireland, because my family's Irish. Speaking of, I, uh, speaking of Ireland, um, my family, my... My grand both my grandparents are from Ireland. They immigrated down here to the United States after they got married. And so um I also and so there I've all, I've, I've I've also been around my dad's friends who a lot who like his best friend is I who is native to Ireland. So therefore if you do um there are some th words that I might say like in an accent. So if you hear me say words in an accent, I'm so sorry. So um, you know, it's just who I am. But yeah, I wanna go to Ireland, I wanna go to Israel, I wanna go to um to, to Japan. I want to go to places like that. I, I, I have a whole list of places I want to go. Um, I love the arts. Anything associated with the arts or performing, I love. I sing, I dance, I write, um, I act, I draw, um, I do audiovisual stuff. I do stuff like that. I do graphic design as well. So I love stuff that has to do with the arts. I always, I, I don't know, I've just always loved the creative aspect of things. I'm a very creative person, I would consider myself. Um, I I have claustrophobia, which basically means that I, I can't handle close bases. I mean, I love hugs. Hugs are okay. Hugs are amazing. And high fives and stuff and fist bumps. But other than that, I, 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 I can't handle anybody touching me or close bases or anything. I will freak out. There was this one time, um, I don't have a religion, but my mom forces me to go to church. And one time, um... Um, we, she makes me do like street evangelism and stuff, but I, but I don't really talk much in street evangelism. So they were praying for people who were going out on the streets to evangelize, and they decided to put us in the smallest, tightest circle ever. So therefore, um, I am I am like like this in this tight circle of people, and people are touching me, and laying hands on me, and I started and I actually burst into tears. And then my friend Alexis had to comfort me. So um. Yeah, I'm claustrophobic. I, I, I'm also afraid of going down the stairs and going down escalators. Going up the stairs and going up escalators, I, I don't have a problem with, but going down them is another issue. Because um, my mom had this crazy accident where she fell down two flights, concrete stairs, and now she has a permanent head injury where she really can't remember much, and also she gets these, she's basically in constant pain all the time. So that's probably a good reason why I should be afraid of them. Um, what else? Um, I'm a pretty lonely person, to be perfectly honest. I don't have a lot of friends because the only places I'm allowed to go is school, home, and my mom's church because she forces me to go to church, like I said before. And I get bullied a lot in school. Um, I love my, um, my, my home's home, and I'm pretty lonely at home. I kind of spend all, all the time in my room. And also, um, as, as for church, the only friends I have in church are the kids in my youth group, and they don't even know that I'm agnostic. So, I don't know. I don't really have people where I can really like relate to and have the same interests as I do, which is kind of sad. So, um, yeah, that's why I have a lot, a lot more online friends than actual friends. That, and I don't like confronting people. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a pretty easy person to be friends with. If you talk to me first, I will not talk to you first, or text you first, or call you first. I'm just afraid, I'm, I'm just afraid that somebody's going to be like, nobody wants to talk to you, and I want to make people happy. So, um, yeah, and... Also, I'm afraid of talking on the phone. I get really anxious when I talk on the phone. So if you're gonna talk to me, text me, or to have a face-to-face -face conversation, but never on the phone. I remember in virtual school we would do these things called DBAs. They, they stand for discussion-based assessments. So basically you'd have to call all your teacher and they would give you like a little mini quiz, a little verbal mini quiz before um, you got to take the test online. So it was the scariest thing ever, oh my god because I would always forget everything, and math is my hardest subject, by the way. Um, so, 
yeah, like, and like I said, math is my hardest subject. I love doing math, don't get me wrong, but I, I hate how frustrating it is. So, um, yeah, so, um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, I don't watch TV. I was like, I mean, I have a TV in my room, that's what I was looking at, like right there. But, um, I don't watch it. I mean, my mom, there's just, my mom expects that just because I am 14 years old, that makes me want to watch TV all the time, but I don't. I spend most of my time online, or reading, or writing, or, you know, doing things. Not, not watching TV, honestly. Um, I, I just don't watch TV. Like, I'll watch a movie every once in a while, but other than that, the internet and writing and reading is the places for me. And I also love going to the library. People think I'm so weird for saying that, but I love reading and love going to the library. And I also love going to, like, art museums, like, um, and I also love, like, really weird stuff that people might not understand. Like, um, there was this one time, we went to Washington, D.C. just recently. Um, you got, if you guys are coming from my channel, you guys know this, I was talking about it. Um, in some of my other videos, but we went to Washington, D.C. And there, there's this, and if you don't know, there's this one art museum, I think it's called Hershon. Yeah, and they, and my mom thinks it's really weird, but I think it's, like, really cool. It's a modern art museum. And they also have, like, stuff from the Middle East, poetry from the Middle East there, which I think is pretty cool. But they have, like, um, abstract art there as well. So I love things that people might not, people might not understand as well. Because I, I'm a pretty deep thinker, so therefore I take things that go into my own perspective. And I like to see the deeper, like, I like to hear the stories behind the things. So it's going to be art or a song or a book. So anyway, that's, that's all for this video. Sorry it was kind of long. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you if you like this video, make sure to hit like and also click that little subscribe button. That's it's, it's somewhere around here. Um, it, it lets you it lets you see me and all the other members of HEM um, on a on a regular basis. It, it, it's really cool, honestly. I I love that button. It is the best button ever. So yeah. Um, and also, um, one, one more thing. You get, if you if you're wondering, you get to see my beautiful face here on Tuesdays. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay fluffy, my pandas. Bye!